Hi. Hello, Adam Rayner, Talk Audio TV. We are at Brands Hatch. That is Ian Iceman Pinder, who just for a change has got my camera in his face. Now, Ian, tell us about this BMW convertible, because this was just like your daily ride. You're just going to put a bit of kit in it. Got yes, indeed. Indeed, yes, I... Uh, I want to do something different, you know, I've done cars, I've done vans with big, big stereos and I, I want to do something different. So let's so. have a look at something different. Tell us about this BMW, what is in here? Well in the doors, as you can see, there's uh, four Grand Zero 10s with uh, four Grand Zero PA tweeters. So where's the uh, the fourth one, Is you say in the doors, the fourth one is actually on the A-pillar? No, it's recessed. It's recessed because you can't really physically put a tweeter because there's no space. So I recessed it, <laughs> angled it, and I haven't seen anyone do that in the UK. Oh my word, so you've seen it in other places. And of course, in the meanwhile, on the other side, you've got the same thing going on. And TV shows, what's in the dash there, dear boy? Right, the dash are two sixes. I wanted to try and get a bit of a SQ. They're not Grand Zero at the moment because they have been in there for a long time but I'm gonna get some Grand Zero reference series speakers and stick it in there for a bit of a SQ. We've got a bit of a cluster of Alpine head unit tree going on in there too have we not? Yeah Alpine was so kind to uh, sort me out a very 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 diamond deal thank you Keith um, and sort me out two very good head units. Um, in the meanwhile the doors well, there's footwell speakers and stuff in well in front of under your knees yeah well in the standard locations there's normally a five inch mid right. i've stuck a, a six and a half inch uh, mid woofer and then in the floors i've purpose built uh, fiberglass and enclosure to house two of the four range grand zero mids and their biggest tweeter the four inch uh, grand zero ct 2200 tweeter which is enough to basically give you uh melted gonads as it is and Meanwhile, in the back, in the rear quarters, tell us about them too, because... Um, with the space that was there, I, I wanted to put something in them. I, I really do love these full range eights. I think they're a really fantastic bit of kit, very good quality speaker, uh, and PA based. And uh, I think the, the full range eights suited it to a T, you know, the size, everything just fitted. And what's that processor? That's a EQX, DDX, what's that? The uh... That's an audio control. Yep, um, that's on loan from Gordon, the amp doctor. Uh -huh. Thank you, sir. While he's uh, fixing my um, Rockford symmetry. But hopefully I'm, I'm saving up for a, a Moscone uh, processor. What's that amplifier and where the seat should be in there, dude? Uh, the, the amplifier is a Grand Zero. It's an older model. Yes. Uh, it's a 6500, which is 18 volt stable. Right. It's uh, 5,800 watts RMS at 14.4 volts. It shows what it's running, come on. Oh, yeah. Because in the back of this, every last fiddle winking inch has been <laughs> used up. There's a little button here. Ooh, that's why. There's some serious cubic. Some serious woofers. What are these beasts in here? Dude? They're two tens. They're donor, donor subs at the moment. Yes. Because I've taken my two twelves out. Yes. Because I'm I'm upgrading to the to the plutoniums. Uh huh. And uh, they'll be going in shortly. Wicked. So, uh, but this has been causing a stir everywhere you've been, hasn't it? Does for change. Oh yeah, yeah. Because it's a convertible for one with the roof down. The PA is pretty, pretty, pretty fantastic. Intense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, here's to go and having some fun in the sunshine. Maybe next season with it. But Ian, Definitely. thank you ever so much. Indeed. Thank you, sir. As ever, you are a complete psychopath, and you have my respect. Thank you, Adam.